I just uh, fully charged the car, ready to go down to fully charge to stay overnight for to visit on Friday. Um, and it's got 304 miles range, um, 12 degrees, and the odometer says 2420. And the first stop is going to be Ionity at Junction 2 of the M40. So it's the first time I've ever tried Ionity uh, with the Kia charge card. So. Let's see how it goes. Well, uh, we did 112 miles to Ionity at Beaconsfield on the M40 Junction 2, and we've averaged 3.4 miles a kilowatt hour, and we got um, 170 miles left in 59% battery. Um, it's currently put in 48 kilowatts. Um, well, it's not that fast, is it? <laughs> I think I was doing better with Osprey. <laughs> well, the battery heater's come on. Um, Battery's gone up to 21, so it's, it should start ramping up. Oh, ramping up now. 99 kilowatts, 100. Battery's at 27. Um, that's helping. Oh, it's speeding up to 130. I think someone else stopping charging is allowing mine to get more power. <laughs> 130. Crikey, the battery's up to 62. Cool at temperature to 39.
It does not slow down when it gets to 90%, but I need this to get back because bank holiday traffic tomorrow and it's going to be bedlam. I don't really want to be stopping here again trying to find my honesty. Um, so that's my excuse. The other two have gone into the services and <laughs> this shows how much time you spend at the services because we're on 91. I need a toilet break. I'm just waiting for them to come back. I can't leave all my gear out. Ninety-two percent, thirty kilowatts. It's not as fast as I was hoping um, because I think the other cars were using the chargers and when they stopped the power just suddenly jumped. You heard the charger stop. I'm going to stop this because it's not going to get any better. It's only going one way now. Mm. Uh, the Ionity has given me 302 miles range. We did 100% in the end because we need it for tomorrow because the bank holiday traffic. Well, this was my first actual use of an Ionity charger using the Kia charge card at its discounted rate. Um, it's an RFID card and this just worked. It seemed simpler than when I used contactless on um, Osprey. Um, so that part of the experience was excellent. Uh, the downside of this was, uh, although it's a 150 kilowatt charger, it peaked at 134 kilowatts. Um, so I'm not getting anything like what I should, I don't think. Um, the battery had heated up considerably and I don't think that was a constraint. And the car next to me was charging and when that stopped, suddenly the charge rate increased massively. So. I suspect that's got more to do with it than anything. Um, so overall I'm a bit disappointed with the Ionity charger at Beaconsfield Junction 2 of the M40. Um, hopefully I'll get to try them again when they open Ionity Stafford which is nearby and um, I don't know I'm still yet to see a greater than 200 kilowatts charge rate. Um, I live in hope. The fully charged show was absolutely excellent. Um, I got to test drive um, a Ford Mustang Mach-E, which was very good, but I prefer my EV6. Um, I didn't do that much videoing or, or taking pictures because I was just enjoying it really. And I went on various um, electric um, scooters, um, bikes and other things. And um, we had a really good day. Um, I did video the, uh, the ID bus because that's the first time I've ever seen one and I'd, I had a quick walk around of that. Um, if you want to see a proper video of, of this go to uh, EV News Daily, that's Martin Lee and Nick Ramos channels. Um, they do a combined grid walk around which was excellent. Just back from a lovely day at Fully Charged. Um, odometer says 2715. Um, we average 3.6 miles to the kilowatt hour. Um, we've got 34% left, 95, 93 miles range. Um, if I look at projected charge, it's uh, it's dropped down to 293 because it's been about 12 degrees and we've been on the motorways but all the same that's not too bad for hitting it at 70 for most of the way 
Um, yeah, not bad at all. <laughs>